Hey, Tim Nastasio here. It is Psychrometric Saturday once again, and we've been talking about diagnosing using supply dry bulb and especially dew point. Now, as a review, we're gonna talk about the conditions that we should be seeing on a properly operating system. We're gonna plot two points on our system. Our red string is gonna represent our return temperatures. And so we've got just our basic design temperature of 75 degree dry bulb and a 60 degree dew point. And then our supply air temperature is gonna be somewhere around 50 to 55 degree dry bulb and around 50 to 55 degree dew points. When we start cooling the air down in the cooling coil, we immediately start bringing the dry bulb temperature down. So we are going from right to left here in our chart. Now, once we get to our saturation curve, and as we continue to go left on the chart, we have no choice but to slide down the curve till we get somewhere around 50 to 55 degree dry bulb on our supply side and somewhere between 50 and 55 degree dew point. When our dry bulb and our dew point are exactly the same temperature, that means that we are at saturation. Okay, let's take another service call. This time the service call is saying it's too hot and humid in the house. It just doesn't seem like our unit is cooling. Now we can diagnose what's going on with that unit very easily without even having to use any kind of temperature clamps and certainly without gauging up. And here's how we use supply dry bulb and dew point to figure that out. Okay, let's put in our return probe. Here we're reading 80 degree dry bulb and 65 degree dew point. So 80 degrees dry bulb and our dew point is right here at 65. So here is our return air conditions. Our supply side, we've got 65 degree dry bulb, 60 degree dew point. Now, what do you notice when we plot these two points on the chart? For one thing, we still are removing some sensible heat. We have 15 degree drop across our coil on the dry bulb side, but notice that that gap between our entering and leaving dew point is a lot lower. Also notice that our point here on our supply side is not really close to our saturation curve. What is this telling us? It's telling us that our evaporator coil is not that cold because that coil is not getting under dew point. Either it's low in refrigerant, it could have a TXV that's under feeding. There could be a number of things that's going on, but it's telling us that we are not cooling that air enough and we're not quite getting the air down to saturation. So there's a lot that we can tell simply by plotting our return and our supply dry bulb and dew point. We're gonna have a few more diagnostics when it comes to supply duct gain and reheat next time. But for now, thanks for watching Psychrometric Saturday.